Hi, John Maxwell here. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell. And I am with Stefan Ferguson, who is one of our JMT members. And behind me are about 3,000 JMT members. And we're having our conference. We're doing our training. And Stefan just treated us with an incredible impersonation of Martin Luther King and his I Have a Dream speech. And Stefan, I, I tell you, um, I could have closed my eyes and swore that Martin Luther King was in the room. You, you did such a great job, not only with your voice, but with your mannerisms. Just fantastic. Yeah, it's just great. So, uh, Stefan's going to give us the word of the day uh, for a minute with Maxwell, and what would it be? It would be dream. I am so shocked. <laughs> I love the statement that says, the dream is free, but the journey isn't. You have to pay a price for the dream. Martin Luther King is a perfect example of a man who had a dream of equality in our country, and he gave his life for that dream. The dream that you have in your life right now, I want you to know that the reality of it becoming something that you can hold in your hands is going to be based upon your ability and willingness to pay the price. I've found that there are prices all along the pathway or the freeway toward the dream. But what I've also discovered is if the dream is really your dream, you own it. In fact, I wrote a book called Put Your Dream to the Test, where I talk about 10 things that you need to check to make sure that this dream you have is going to be a valid dream. And one of them is the ownership question. Do, do you own the dream? Is my dream really my dream? That's the acid test. It can't be someone else's dream. It has to be yours. And I hope, and Stefan does too, that you have a dream. A dream not only to better yourself, but to better the people around you. A dream that just includes myself and no one else is too small of a dream. So get a Martin Luther King-sized dream. One that is not just for you, but one that is for everyone, and it betters mankind. Thanks for joining Stefan and me today on Minute with Maxwell.